What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing the um, game Rainbow 3, which was released in the uh, arcades and put it to uh, different consoles like the uh, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, Atari ST, and the Amiga. Now, far as I'm aware, the Sega Genesis version is the most um, well known version of these um, console versions and stuff. And the Genesis version is the one I will be reviewing. And it's pretty much a top down uh, game, uh, a top down shooter, more specifically like um, Commando and Akari Warriors. And it's pretty much based on the uh, Rambo 3 movie starring Sylvester Stallone, where it has the same plot of the movie where Rambo goes in and, and rescues Colonel Troutman, who led a team to rescue some people who, but team ended up getting ambushed and by by an enemy force and um uh, he was captured in the process, you know what I'm saying? Now Rambo three has six stages in it where Rambo um starts by infiltrating the enemy lines and stuff like that. And Rambo has three default weapons I'll say technically four default weapons is the machine gun the knife, the uh, crossbow, and the time bombs. Now, the, now the knife, crossbow, and the time bombs are pretty much uh, secondary weapons. While the um, machine gun is the primary weapon. Now, um, the, the machine gun actually shoots pretty fast. You know what I'm saying? And I and I do like that. You know what I'm saying? You can take out enemies with, with minimum. To no problem, you know what I'm saying? Especially like the, the regular henchmen, you know what I'm saying? Now, one thing I can say about the machine gun, it does have a, pretty much unlimited ammo where the um, crossbow and, um, and the um, time bombs are, are pretty much limited. And you might want to use the um, the knife if one of the enemies is like real, was real close to you enough to, to actually use it, you know what I'm saying, technically within range of the knife, you know. Now, the only time you want to use the time bomb is to take out the um, tower guards, you know. And speaking of the enemies, the um, pretty much the, the enemies that you'll face are pretty much the henchmen, the guard towers, helicopters, and tanks and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. Plus, the, plus Rainbow 3 have um, a pretty much a two player mode where the um first player has to complete the stage within the time limit that's given and the when once that first place completes that stage, the second player pretty much uh, replays the same stage trying to beat the um time that the first player pretty much set, you know what I'm saying? And of course Rambo three has an option mode where you can uh, do stuff like change the number of lives from one to five, or and change the difficulty setting, which has easy, normal, and hard and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're a real hardcore gamer, you pretty much gonna um, set it on hard. You know what I'm saying? Now, the graphics and the level design for Rainbow Three are very good, and it has excellent color palettes and uh, sprites and stuff like that. And the controls are really really good and the and the um and the controls are like really responsive and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the the machine gun firing rate is pretty fast. In fact I say it's quicker than what you find on um uh, in the game Commando for NES and it's definitely faster than the um Akari Warriors whether you're talking about the arcade version or the NES version and stuff like that. Now, the soundtrack is pretty good as far as the second Genesis version of Rambo 3. And it's the uh, best soundtrack that I've heard on the, on the Genesis and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, as some people might complain about the fact that you don't have any power-ups in the Genesis version, at least. But that will come off as nitpicking, you know what I'm saying? And, um... Uh, and I don't think that it's really that big of a deal, you know what I'm saying? I, and honestly, I think that the um, the 
Genesis version of Rambo 3 didn't sell a lot of copies because I think the, um, I guess the people paying the, um, movie version of Rambo 3, you know what I'm saying? Plus the fact that, for the most part, um, uh, games based off of movies generally, are generally turd fest, you know what I'm saying? Look at the, uh, LJ, some LJ again in games like Jaws. Back to the Future and Nightmare on Elm Street, you know. Now, Rainbow 3 from Genesis is pretty good, you know what I'm saying, overall. And I would definitely recommend it to anybody who is a retro gamer or anybody who is a, who is a fan of the Rainbow franchise, Genesis owners, and pretty much YouTubers who do Let's Plays on their channels and stuff. As far as the score is concerned, I definitely give Rambo 3 for the Genesis a 9 out of 10, you know what I'm saying, because it is good, you know. With that being said, if you played um, Rambo 3 on the Genesis and you like it and you think it's one of the best Genesis games, you can mention it in the comment section. If you played the, the other versions of Rambo 3 and you, and you want to, like, compare it to, like, to the Genesis version, you can do that. If you like my review of Rambo 3, you don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Big Metro Fan 12, signing off.